What's up YouTube? It's Asian Sensation here from Geeks Are United doing a well you could call it a random gameplay, but you know like a little playthrough of uh, Lost in Nightmares DLC for Resident Evil 5. So we're, I'm doing this by myself. Keep it on amateur so we can get this done quickly. And I'm gonna play as Chris. Well, the basic summary of the story is, oh, of the DLC is that uh, it explains what happened to Jill. Uh, if you played the the Resident Evil 5 story mode, the campaign, you find out that um, Jill supposedly died uh, pushing Wesker out of a window, saving Chris. And this entire DLC mission is to ex explain what happened to Jill and how all that happened. And Jill is. You know, the master of unlocking, according to Barry. So, picking the lock at the uh, Oswald E. or Oswald E. Spencer Mansion, the uh, one of the founders of the Umbrella Corporation, and they are going in to hunt him down and kill him. Very reminiscent of the first Resident Evil game. A mansion, lightning storm. You know, a bunch of guys with handguns. That's exactly like the first game. The layout of the mansion in this one is pretty much the same as the original. And a uh, little easter egg. If you go here and investigate, you just do it three times. One more time. This is question mark. And you get a little easter egg. Tribute to the original game. You get the original camera angles. Yeah, I found this out just playing through. I, I was like, what the hell? That's pretty cool. Look, get some ammo. Score star, you know, why not? Oh, damn it, missed. Oh, missed again. It's weird to play with this camera angle. Alright, gotta pull this lever right here. Unlocks those doors. This DLC, it was worth 400 Microsoft points, that's about 5 US dollars, and I mean a lot of people say it's not really worth it, but I'm a really big fan of the original, the first Resident Evil game, in fact it was the very first game that I played, I was like, I think 6, yeah, it was, it was terrible, but it was fun, dead body, okay, and I liked it, but you know, most people... Then again, Resident Evil 4 and 5, they weren't really true to the original Resident Evil with, you know, the camera system and how that it's more action-oriented now. Okay, we'll go through this door first. It's over here, nothing there, okay. And the door opening sequence here is like the original game. It, it, this entire DLC is kind of a tribute to the original game. Oh, and I'll, I'll be putting a uh, separate walkthrough of where to get all the uh, score stars to get one of the achievements. You know, the, the silver score, score, score star thingies. There's supposed to be a shotgun there. Oh, wait, no, the, rep the weapons change. I knew that. See that silver star right there? Yeah, that's, that's one of them, but you have to be Jill to do it. Because there's one score star that only Jill can get. It's on the other side of the mansion, the dining room. Oh, need that. Alright, you gotta throw Jill across. She's gonna open the, uh, the door for you. She's in the top of the dining room, and the bottom door is locked. She get the shotgun. Oh, what the hell, really? I 
Oh, hurry up, Jill. Let's go open the door. Well, finally. All right, and then another one of the passwords is right here. You need to get three passwords. And, well, here's, I have two of them already. Now, now what? Now we, oh yeah, we gotta, Jill has to play, um, like in the first game, Moonlight Sonata, to open the secret door in the wall and get the emblem. And in this one, it's pretty much the same thing. Moonlight Sonata, uh, play it. Well, that's opening. Steal some stuff. Any day now, Jill. Why can't Chris just jump over? This is how they train the, the STARS teams or the BSAA members. Don't jump over obstacles, it's dangerous. Alright, now since we have the emblem, we can go unlock the other door on the other side of the mansion. Go out this way, and that door right there, right there, right here. And this, this room, if you remember from the first game, is where the dogs jump out through the window. But in this one, bats come out. I don't think they hurt you. Well, I haven't had one attack me yet. Okay, we need Jill. Okay, open that. I'm gonna go over here. What we got in here? What we got? Grenades. Take them all. I'm a greedy person. Okay. We got the, oh, we got the magnum. And we got heat sensitive paper. You take the heat sensitive paper to the fireplace back in the dining room. And that's how you get um, the last password, password 2. Bat. Imagine Batman just jumping on one of those windows. Alright. Now... You get the last password. Burn the paper. Well, you don't really burn the paper. What is the point of heat sensitive paper? And how would you know it's heat sensitive paper by just looking at it? Alright. Let's get out of here. Now we gotta go into that room that Jill uh, picked the lock in. Right here on the left. Right here. No. There we go. If you notice right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is the, uh, in the main story, the campaign, this is where they find the progenitor virus in Africa. Tribute. Or not trivia, more like a, like, can, it connects the stories. And then secret door. I mean, you could obviously tell there's a door there. Now we make Jill go inside, or she goes in by herself. So we can make the uh, obvious reference from the first Resident Evil game. You could have been a Jill sandwich. Thumbs up to Barry. Oh, hold your horses. Alright. Uh, see you in part two.